Guys, equity overall best hybrid. Can somebody explain to me how the lowest scoring car got to win this category? <laughs> Lowest scoring car also represents the best value, and that is the Kia Nero Hybrid. Well done, Kia. Well done, well done. Still, please explain <laughs> how it won. Let's look at the contenders. Okay, you have the Kia Nero Hybrid, and then you have the Nissan X Trail E Power, which we all unanimously love. Yes. All right. And then you have the BMW XM, which also happens to be the most expensive car in the AQT content. How expensive are we talking about? More than one million dollars! <laughs> so you may be wondering uh, what actually qualifies as a hybrid, especially these days when there are mild hybrids and plug-in hybrids and uh, battery electric hybrids, right? We have decided for the sake of this category to classify cars or recognize cars that can be driven under electric power or under petrol power exclusively or a combination of the two. There are cars, for example, that are mild hybrids like the, the Suzuki yeah. Swift mild hybrid, for example. Yeah. A car like that, um, basically the engine is on all the time and the electric motor is assisting the engine. So it does not give the driver a pure EV experience or pure electric motoring experience. Mm -hmm. What these hybrids do is offer, you know, even for shorter moments of time or periodic moments of time, the ability to drive exclusively under battery power or under petrol power. So it's interesting how the diversity turned up all by itself very organically for the second round. This yep. is so 2023. Yeah. We've yeah. got diversity. Inclusiveness. Huh? Yeah, yes. inclusiveness. Yeah. Whether you agree with our findings or not, let us know in the comment section. Yeah. And uh, if you want to watch who the next winner is, uh, subscribe and like our videos and you'll be uh, notified when it comes out. Yeah, so to end off, congratulations again to the Kia Niro Hybrid and we'll catch you in the next one.